guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing great. So this video is going to be the part two of interview grooming guide, in which I'll be talking about what kind of clothes you should wear, how to enter the interview room, how to sit in front of the interviewer, and how to exit the interview room, so that you leave a nice impression on the interviewer. It's going to be the part two. In case you haven't watched part one, please go ahead and watch that first, and then come back and watch this part. So I'm going to leave a link to the part one in the description box below. So make sure to watch that first. Now let's quickly begin with part two. Now first of all, we are going to talk about what type of clothes you should wear what patterns you should wear and what kind of colors you should wear now i think it's really important to wear properly fitted clothes please do not wear loose clothes and which are not of your size it's going to look so shabby trust me and also make sure your clothes are properly ironed because unironed clothes or wrinkled clothes again look very very shabby so make sure your clothes are properly fitted and well ironed talking about the prints so i think you can wear any sort of professional looking print for example stripes or checkered print or maybe a small small polka dots wala print so all these prints are some sort of professional looking prints now the prints that you should totally avoid wearing are uh, animal prints i know that is super trending right now but come on you cannot wear such print to an interview and please avoid wearing any floral prints or any quirky prints these prints do not look professional at all now talking about what kind of colors you should wear now either go for pastel colors or dark colors please do not wear bright colors like a neon yellow or a bright green bright yellow bright red it's not going to look nice so either opt for pastels or dark colors now talking about the actual clothes guys either you can wear a normal shirt be it a half sleeve shirt or a full sleeve shirt or you can go for blazers like i'm wearing this one so if you want to wear a shirt make sure it has some sort of collar like a normal collar or a peter pan collar or maybe a bow collar make sure it has some sort of collar do not wear round shirts like that i mean if you want to wear a blazer then maybe you can wear a round shirt like i'm wearing this round top and then i'm wearing a blazer on top of it it's completely fine because your blazer has some sort of collar i'm talking about the clothing part for your lower part of the body so either you can go for skirts or trousers now if you want to go for skirts make sure that your skirt is not too high i mean your thighs are not that visible so keep it like just above the knees so that it looks professional and in case you're planning to wear skirts then i feel to give it a more professional look just wear some sort of skin stockings or maybe if your skirt is black then maybe you can wear some black stockings as it's going to you know look more professional now talking about the trousers i think trousers should be of a perfect length like ankle length would be perfectly fine don't wear a uh, super cropped trousers or some sort of trouser which is too long now talking about the shoes or the heels that you should wear so guys uh, i feel ki uh, wear any sort of heel be it a pencil heel or a wedge or a block heel but make sure that it's closed from the front matlab jaise pumps hote hain us type ka koi bhi heel will definitely work but make sure it's not of a bright color as i said bright yellow bright red just keep it subtle maybe nude heels or black heels white heels it's going to work amazing so that was all about the clothing part now let's talk about how to enter the interview room so when you know it's your turn and when a person uh, or a volunteer will call you okay uh, for example shivani it's your turn so i'll quickly get up i'll go now when i have to enter the room i'll first knock two bar first of all i'll greet and then seek for permission for example if it's the morning time then i'll say good morning sir may i come in or maybe if it's the afternoon time then good afternoon sir may i come in then of course the interviewer will give you the permission and then come inside the room while coming inside the room just say thank you now of course when you're going to enter the room the interviewer will definitely say that please have a seat or please make yourself feel comfortable now in that case you will uh sit down and say thank you now uh, talking about the belongings you will be carrying your uh file and your purse 
सो गाइज डो नॉट हेजिटेट टू कीप योर थिंग्स ऑन द टेबल इट्स ओके बिकॉज द इंटरव्यू इज नॉट गो जज कि तुम अपना सामान उसके टेबल पर रख रहे हो इट्स कम्प्लीटली फाइन जब मैं स्टार्टिंग में इंटरव्यू देती थी ना मैं मैं डरती थी कि मैं सामान कहाँ रखूँ तो मैं फाइल तो ऑब्वियसली टेबल पर रखती थी बट द बैग दैट आई यूज टू कैरी आई यूज टू कीप इट नीचे जमीन पे बट इट्स आई फील इट्स ओके टू कीप इट ऑन द टेबल एज वेल नाउ हाउ यू सिट इन फ्रंट ऑफ द इंटरव्यू सो प्लीज ऑलवेज सिट इन अ स्ट्रेट पोजिशन एंड डू नॉट स्लाउच डू नॉट सिट लाइक दिस जस्ट सिट इन अ स्ट्रेट पोजिशन and uh, make the interviewer feel that you are pretty much confident so if you want to slouch it's definitely going to depict ki you are a very lazy person you are a very clumsy person so just sit straight and make him or her think that maybe you are the perfect one for this job now of course you will eventually going to start your conversation with the interviewer while doing the conversation do not use a lot of hand movements use a little bit but not too much talking about the legs how you should keep your legs make sure that you have not crossed your legs i mean aise cross nahi hone chahiye legs because if you'll cross your legs na then it will depict ki maybe uh, you have a closed personality or maybe you're not open to new things and all that so uh, make sure to sit straight do not cross your legs because when you close your arms or when you close your legs it becomes a closed posture which looks kind of negative now it's super duper important to maintain an eye contact with the interviewer and also if he is telling you something to nod your head a little bit not too much but nod your head a little bit maintain an eye contact and do not uh, keep smiling like a fool smile whenever required i know it's really important to smile in an interview but as an ek you are smiling for no reason and interviewer dekh bhi nahi raha then also you are smiling no smile whenever required and maintain an eye contact throughout the interview now if you don't know how to maintain an eye contact for a longer period of time what you can do is you can focus on two areas so your eyes and the forehead so if i want to maintain an eye contact with the interviewer and i have to keep maintaining it for like 2 minutes 3 minutes but i'm not good at it so in that case what should i do i will look at his eyes then his forehead look at his eyes and then to his forehead so i will keep looking at these two things do not like avoid looking at his nose or his lips of course it's not going to look so professional form an imaginary triangle so forehead and eyes you have to keep focusing on these three points when you are maintaining the eye contact and if you are not really good at it maybe just break the contact for like a second just look at somewhere else and then again come back to his eyes and forehead and all that so ye wali jo cheez hai na i actually learned it in my grooming session uh that i had in my previous airline so i'm really really thankful to that ma'am for teaching us so many new things because mujhe aisa lagta tha yaar main kahan dekhu jab eye contact maintain karna hai to where should i look so she told us that just form an imaginary triangle and keep looking avoid the uh, nose and lips it's not going to look nice and also while you are having a word with the interviewer just do not keep your face down keep your chin up and talk confidently ye nahi ki aise baithe ho it shows how under confident you are so make sure you always keep your chin up and talk properly even if you are uh, a little bit nervous it's okay because it's an interview while you're sitting do not shake your legs too much because of nervousness some people have this habit of shaking their legs please don't do that guys avoid shaking your legs at any cost so now that you have done giving your interview it's time for you to exit the room now you'll get up you will say thank you so much for your time or maybe shake the hand if you're comfortable now personally for me i am not only really comfortable shaking hands so i just get up and say thank you so much for your time and i start walking towards the door now before exiting just turn towards the interviewer and say have a nice day or maybe have a good day ahead ye nahi ke uth ke bas seedha nikal gaye nahi aisa nahi karna guys just before leaving turn say have a nice day and then leave and trust me it's going to leave a really really nice impression on the interviewer so yes guys with that i am done sharing everything with you guys related to the interview grooming guide and if you find this helpful then please please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up share this video with your friends or family or maybe someone 
who is planning to give an interview please do subscribe to my channel for more such videos if you want to get connected with me on social medias then i would leave all the links in the description box below for you guys and yes i'm going to see you next time till then you all stay happy and stay beautiful bye bye